Welcome back to the Fabric Studio. Now we're going to take a look at how to add a photo to your swatch. So to get started, you'll need to pick your swatch. In this case, I opened my birthday cake under celebration. I'm going to use File, Open, and I'm going to go where my photos are kept. In this case, I'm going to click on Open, and now my photos in the program. I'm going to use a great tool that comes with the software. It's called an elliptical crop. I'm going to go to my toolbar, and I'm going to select my elliptical crop, and I'm going to take it above my photo, and I'm going to drag it around my face. And I'm going to keep on holding down till I get the size I want. Once that's done, I'm going to go to Crop, and I'm going to crop the image. Now, I'm going to be taking this photo and placing it in my swatch. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to add a layer. You're going to go back to the photo and use your Move Select tools to select it. Once you see the little dots going around the edge, you know it's ready to select. And you can go to Edit and Copy or Control v or however you want to copy it. There's lots of different ways. Now we're going to paste that photo into the swatch. You can go to Edit and Paste. And now as you can see, the photos in the swatch. Now, um, I'm going to rotate the photo. So to rotate it, as long as you still see the dots, you're going to right click and grab a corner and holding down your mouse, you're going to slowly rotate that, sw that photo and place it exactly where you want to place it. You're able to do 360 degree rotation within the software. Now I might even want to make that a little bit smaller, so again I'm going to grab a corner, holding down my shift key not to distort it, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to place it exactly where I want. And then hit enter. Again, I'm going to add a layer. It's already selected once, it's going to stay selected, and I'm going to hit paste. It's going to always appear in the left upper hand corner. I'm going to drag it over. And this time, I'm going to start out by making it smaller by holding the shift key down and grabbing a corner. Because you want to make things different sizes. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to rotate it the other way. Now, if you're happy with it, you're going to hit Enter. You can also add some text. And again, you're going to save it in two different ways. By saving it as an FS file, you keep your layers intact, and you can always go back and change them or add them or adjust them. And you're going to save it as an PNG file, so when you're finally done with it, you can do the repeat.